bison is sort of the, the perfect protein, which is probably one of the healthiest proteins for us to consume as humans. And it, it's meant to be here. And that's the big thing. We're not forcing nature to do something that it's not already doing. Those guys have been on the land way before me. I mean, they're going back thousands of years. But I always wanted to have my own farm, so I saw a great opportunity in Alberta. And that's the passion of my life. And for me, it was never a chore to do farming. I love it. The whole background idea with the beets is to kind of use it as a like a dramatic effect to kind of highlight the fact that it's, it was an animal that's been killed. So we could totally make this a tribute to the life of that animal. Yeah. And the thing is, we definitely have to do something that's going to showcase the bison as a star. The bison meat is, is very high in protein. We eat them in order to produce them, right? And I think people are really starting, it wasn't always like this, but people are really starting to catch on it's a healthier alternative. We're, we're trying to really offer people um, an exclusive, you know, a tasty and a, a healthier alternative to other meat products. The, the savory kind of approach to the oats, do some sort of porridge or uh, you had mentioned earlier like a, a polenta style kind of situation. Yeah. So we could, we could easily finish the oats with the aged gouda. But there's a huge Ukrainian influence in, in Alberta. And I, I'm looking at the beautiful greens that's on that beet. Maybe a little beet roll, like a cabbage roll concept. I, I'd like to use the beets for the sauce. Um, build kind of a beet gastrique and uh, so you have like that nice, rich, deep, heavy beet color. With that, it's just gonna be beets, kind of like sugar and vinegar, uh, gastric. The nice thing is about the bison, don't need to age it anyway. At all? No, not really, because if you handle them right, the meat is tender. Yeah. It's way more tender than beef. Any thoughts on, on the flank steak preparation? I'd, I'd like to use the, um, the juniper berries. That's a good idea. A little bit of basting, like maybe um, do it in a frying pan. Yeah. Get a nice sear yeah, on it. And roast it, lots of butter. So you know what would probably work in there too is we put a bit of that sage in. You know, the one thing about bison that I think is really important is not to overcook it. Everyone has their own preferred doneness that they like. In this case, Rare is better. There's no other better red meat out there. It's not even close. Delicious, healthy, yeah. indigenous. Um, kind of a no-brainer. <laughs>